Imagine standing face to face with a giant, taller than an elephant, covered in shaggy hair with curved tusks stretching over 15 feet long. No, this isn't a scene from a fantasy movie. This beast was real. This was the woolly mammoth. Over 10,000 years ago, during the Ice Age, these colossal creatures roamed the frozen tundras of Siberia, North America, and Europe. They were perfectly adapted to the cold. Thick fur, a hump of fat for insulation, and small ears to keep out the frost. Wherever humans went, so did mammoths. Our ancestors hunted them for food, used their bones for tools, and even built shelters from their massive tusks. But mammoths weren't just big, hairy elephants. Their tusks could twist in dramatic spirals, sometimes weighing over 200 pounds. They traveled in herds, much like modern elephants, and were surprisingly social. Scientists believed they communicated using deep rumbles that could be felt through the ground. And here's a wild fact. Many mammoth carcasses have been found so well-preserved in the Arctic ice that even their stomach contents are still intact, frozen in time. So what happened to these Ice Age giants? Climate change at the end of the Ice Age melted their frozen world. Vast grasslands turned into forests, leaving them with little to eat. At the same time, human hunting pressures grew stronger. The last known population of woolly mammoths survived on a tiny Arctic island called Wrangell Island. And then they were gone, extinct. Or so we thought. Here's where the story takes a jaw-dropping turn. Deep in Siberian permafrost, scientists have recovered DNA from frozen mammoths, and today, geneticists are seriously working on bringing them back, combining mammoth DNA with modern elephants. It's called de-extinction. Imagine a world where shaggy mammoths once again roam the Arctic tundra, restoring lost ecosystems and rewriting history. But here's the question, should we? Is reviving the woolly mammoth a bold step for science and conservation, or are we playing with nature's balance? The answer may shape the future of life on Earth.